In this exercise, we're going to write our very own Hello World program using the Unity Game Engine. Let's start off by creating a new Unity project titled Learn C Sharp. You notice I'm spelling out sharp rather than using that sharp symbol that we're used to seeing. These symbols are a little bit problematic whenever it comes to file, folder, project name, so I'm just going to leave it out. Set my location, desktop, Unity, okay, create my project. Unity is going to relaunch into the Unity editor, which looks like this. We'll get into what all these things are in front of us in the interface tutorial. Whether or not you finish the interface tutorial, you should still be able to follow along with this tutorial without a problem. We're going to start off in the Assets pane. We're going to right click in Assets, Create, C Sharp Script. I'm going to give my C Sharp Script a name. I'm going to call it Example Class. Notice the capital E, capital C, no space in between, Example Class. Now, I can open this one of two ways. I can right click and say open, or I can just double click. It's going to open it up in Mono Develop. I've got 15 lines of code here. Not going to worry too much about what all of this means right now. In the basic script elements tutorial, we do a little bit deeper look into not just what is here, but what are all the basic scripts that you might, basic parts of scripts you might need to know to work in Unity. Um, our goal here though is just to execute a script. So that's what we're going to focus on. First we need to trim the excess. We're going to delete lines 10 through 14. We don't need those, so select them, delete. Leaves us with 11 lines of code right here. Alright, the simplest way to see if we're actually running a script successfully is to output to the console in Unity. We can easily do this by using a command called debug log. Uh, to find out a little more information about debug log, check out the Unity API. That being said, for now, just follow along with what I put in. The proper syntax is going to be debug dot log. I'm going to open up a parenthesis. You'll notice Mono Develop automatically closes the parentheses when I open it. In those parentheses, I'm going to put a quote. Again, automatically closes the quote for me. Type in hello world. Every C sharp script we write, we need to make sure we finish with a every line we write, we need to make sure we finish with a semicolon. So again, at the end of the line, write a semicolon. Doesn't do us any good if we don't save at this point. Control S on a PC, Command S on a Mac, or of course, go up to File, Save. Well, I've saved it. You can minimize or you can close. I'm just going to minimize at this point. If we look now with our script selected in the inspector, you can see the script has actually updated. It says debug log, hello world, all that good stuff. All right, so we're going to go up to the very top to the run play button. I'm going to click on the run play button and hmm, nothing really happened except the preview window changed from seeing the game and the color of the editor changed, got a little bit darker, but I'm not getting that hello world message that I expect to see when first trying a program. So what did we do wrong? Well, let's start off by clicking that run play button again to stop running the scene. Try to think of this as a toggle switch for running, not running, not simply a start button. Okay, in order to execute a script, it must be attached to an object. We could, we could attach this script to any object, including main camera, directional light, either one. This, however, is not a best practice, and we don't want to build bad habits. So let's create an object to attach the script to. In the hierarchy, on the left, I'm going to hit Create. 
and then select Create Empty. It just creates an empty placeholder object that I can put my script on. All right, we now have a game object called Game Object in the hierarchy. It's kind of a messy name. Let's give it a more meaningful name. In the inspector over here on the right, I'm going to change game object to debug. It's the object that's going to allow me to run my debug. All right. I have a couple of ways that I could attach this script. I could click it and I could drag it on and it'll add it that way. I could hit add component, go down to scripts, and then select example class. Or I could even just start typing exam, ah, oh, there it is, example class, enter. All right, so I have my debug object, just a placeholder object, with my script attached. So let's try running. I'm going to hit the run play button again up at the top. And hey, look down here, bottom left hand corner. Hello world. Beautiful. We've done it. To get a better view, right up here there's a console tab right next to the project tab. I'm going to click on console and it's going to show me the complete readout. Hello world, Unity Engine, Debug, Log, Object. There we go. Hello world. For more information on the console, what all the console can do, how to get uh, rich text in your console, you can change colors, italicize, bold, um, all that kind of fun stuff, and also what else the console can tell you, check out the Unity Manual. It's a great resource. That wraps up today's tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed what we've done here today, and I wish you happy coding.